Keholani blinked back tears, and then raised her eyes to her uncle, who stood now as both father and mother to her. I am drawn to him, I admitted, uncle. I often wonder to myself what it would be like to be married to him. He is so different from us, and yet he shares many of our ways and beliefs. I have known from the beginning that he was drawn to me. He did not hide his attentions, but I turned away from them and kept away from him. How can I accept his offer, uncle? Even though some children are born every year, our people become fewer and fewer. The elders die faster than the young can replace them, and so many of our young leave for other lands and do not return here. How can I, who am possibly to be high chief one day, marry a man of the dark ones and encourage, by my action and example, other maidens to do the same? If our young women marry in large numbers among outsiders and bear children to them who do not look like us, will we not die out as a people, even faster than we are now? Surely there is no choice for me but to marry among my own people, to try to keep us and our way of life alive in the future. 